This time of year, everyone has a busy schedule, so it's probably tempting just to order pizza every night. But no, there is a better and cheaper idea, cooked rotisserie chicken. You can find it in most supermarkets. And Robin Miller, author of Robin Rescues Dinner, says that it's really easy to turn this chicken into a bunch of great home-cooked meals. Good morning, Robin. Good morning. Great to be here. Thank you. This is great. You can buy a chicken for like five to seven bucks. Oh, and it's, you know, feeds four. And I have in my cookbook 20 things to do with a rotisserie chicken because I know, you know, you get beyond the chicken and a baked potato. Right. What's next? Exactly. So I've got three dishes we're going to do and a beautiful display of fun things that you can do with the rotisserie chicken. Okay, let's chicken. get to the first so one. So the one thing I just want to show people is, you know, what do you do with it when you get home? Yeah. My gosh, what do we do with this bird? It's super easy because there's super tender, the meat just falls right off the bone. You can just take two forks, pull the meat off the bone, you can either cut it into cubes or you can shred it. So that's what you would do and that's what we have done here. Okay. Here I have some cooked penne. I also in the book have 17 things to do with a box of pasta. I love so, it. Yeah, there's a lot of different things that you could do. So here's the chicken. We've got that in there. I'm going to give so you, you just something. cube the chicken. Cube the chicken. I'm going to give you the heavy cream hey, where you can I'm use milk. Watch. Hey Harry. Hi. And then All right, so this is a hot, a hot skillet. Hot pan. Cream, right, we want tomatoes. dinner ready in five minutes, exactly. right? Exactly. Prepared pesto. So we're reaching oh. out for some prepared things here to keep it, you know, really super Easy. simple. Dinner in five minutes. I'm going to ask you if you wouldn't mind stirring that. And just all you want to do is get that to come together. The chicken's cooked, the pasta's cooked, five minutes. It's a beautiful dish. You mm. top it with some Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Yummy. And you've got chicken pesto penne in, penne in five wow. minutes, right? Spectacular. That looks really good. So there's that. All right, now how about chicken chili? Let's do chicken you chili. Want to do some chicken chili? All right, in this back one here, okay, I'm gonna move this we're going to add. Woo! See, that's Ooh, a great Ooh, it's hot. We got some nice heat going. I love that sound. So we just got put that. in some uh, tomato sauce. Tomato sounds? puree. Puree. The chicken. We've got kidney beans, mm -hmm. which you just open a can. Open a can, easier. drain it. We've got some corn. You can put that right in frozen. You like that chicken, Harry? It's just got that wonderful rotisserie flavor that know. you know adds depth to a dish. Celery, celery, bell peppers, bell peppers, cumin, cream and, and corn. chili powder. Boom! That's that. We've got a finished one down there. Five, Look ten minutes. That. You let that simmer. Just I mean, kind of mesh together. About Hearty dishes for four. What do you think? It smells good, Harry? Mm -hmm. so Robin, this is easy and great. Oh, I love it. That's why I was like, I could have come Look up with 30 ideas. And I love when you want to make it a little Harry. fancier, you put it in a little <laughs> bread bowl, right? Yeah, because that's why it's a really fun way, you know, yeah. families love to kind of just, you know, if you're going to do a family dinner, you might as well. And then it looks it like look you spent forever fun, right? on it. And then you can dollop sour cream, some cheddar cheese. Oh, it's hot. Blow, blow, blow. You guys want me to make a chicken pot pie while you enjoy the, uh, oh. the chili? Good. I'm not delicious. finished yet. He doesn't oh. have so swine flu anymore. So that is a <laughs> that's mm. a pie crust. You know, a refrigerated pie crust. Uh -huh. So this is so easy. Watch this. You get diced tomatoes. Right. You can get some of the potatoes that are pre-cooked, or you can have leftover potatoes. Sure. Put that in there. You've got chicken. Right. I love using frozen um, succotash because then oh, you've got okay, the. Sure. So these yeah. potatoes are, are not cooked. Right? Yeah, they're cooked. Oh, they they're are cooked. cooked. Yeah, okay. because you can get them in a can, or you can just use leftover okay. potatoes. Got oregano and thyme. Just blend that all in there. You see, I did it like right mm -hmm. in the pie pan. That took what? That? Seven seconds. Right. Seven seconds. Of course, you would give it a nice good stir if you're doing it you right. know, at home, but it's and still then you just want to cut it four seconds. Then you put the pie crust on, crimp the edges. They make these little fancy things to put holes in the top if oh, you want. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? Wow. And then, you know, you could just. You're good at crimping. That's good, Harry. You've done He's this good before. at everything. Oh, you're such a good crimper. <laughs> <laughs> and then you bake that in the oven. Um, I mean, can you imagine like all the different things that you could do with a rotisserie chicken? This is just not your average chicken. Let me this ask is you fancy a question. stuff. So what is this here? That's a spring roll. You use a coleslaw mix, some uh, soy sauce, goodness. sesame. You can put it with duck sauce, soy sauce. Beautiful. Spring roll wrappers. Bake it in the oven awesome. five, ten minutes. Thanks, Robin. Yeah. We're going to put all the recipes all right. on the web. Thank you so much. Earlyshow.cbsnews.com. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody.